Hello Makeup Void, I am the Makeup Schizophrenic and welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today is May 27th at 6.19 in the morning and this starts the third phase of the drug trial. If you missed the first video, it didn't get a lot of views but I honestly didn't care. Um, that first video chronicling, like, it was, it's a video diary of me going through this drug trial process but if you missed that, I'll have it linked in the description box. But basically, in, towards the end of May, I decided to join a clinical drug trial. I was actually at the tail end of last year, um, it, but I just didn't get started till uh, March. But basically, I am uh, taking a drug that is already on the market for a different purpose and seeing if it helps with patients that have schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder. So. I have schizoaffective disorder. I talk quite a bit about that on my channel. So this is just, this drug trial is just sort of my way of, of helping the scientific community because there's not a lot of research done on these drugs or on this disorder. So as much information that I can give them, to me that is the better. So how am I feeling today? I don't know. The first day of this, I was like very nervous yet very excited. And then the official start of the washout period, which has been the past month, so you'll get a few clips of what I was feeling like during the um, washout period where I wasn't taking the study drug slash placebo. It is a double blind study, so I have no idea what I took in the first month. And today we're going into the third stage and the final stage of the drug trial where I take the placebo or study drug, whatever I didn't take the first time. The first time I was pretty confident I was on the study drug. So I'm hoping I was right um, because if that was the placebo, that was absolute shit. <laughs> um, because once I got off of it, I just immediately started feeling so much better. So we'll see how this month goes. Same deal as last time. I'm not going to show you what it's like in the facility. But it's just going to be video diaries, chronically how I'm feeling, what I'm doing. Today is going to either be a great day or a bad day. I had to, I have to stop at work because I my badge fell out of my purse in the parking lot so I have to go retrieve it um thankfully the security guy making his rounds find, found it so and then depending on how the drug trial goes because it's only technically four hours even though it's like an hour there and like it's supposed to be an hour <laughs> back to work um supposed to be but for some reason every time I try to get home after the study the drive is like twice as long so I don't know if that's going to happen, but we'll see how the day goes. For now, I'm pretty nervous. I, I'm i not nervous. I don't, I don't know how I'm feeling. I'm kind of like that. I'm kind of pretty neutral. Now we're going to go into a few clips of the washout period and what it's been like during the past month, I think. I, I, I ended the last video with a few days after the washout period, a um, few days into it. I have like a few clips after that. We'll see how editing Kayla finds them or not. And then we'll get into the third month. This is going to be a long video. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video because um, I'm just going to do the sign off now. Um, I do upload three days a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 6 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Kayla Hayes with a C and a Z. And as always, I'd love to see you on my next video. Let's get going. That, that was weird. That was really weird. Okay. It's going to be a weird day. So it is still April 22nd. I filmed like the intro to this video diary this morning. So that's why it's the same makeup. And so it has been more than 24 hours without taking the study drug. And I just feel like everything turned back on again. Like I, I deal with sound sensitivity a lot. Like that's been an issue for me for a long time but it just kind of felt I, I don't know how else to describe it but like you know like hound dogs like how their ears are like flopped over and so like they can still hear very well they have really good hearing but like you can tell when a dog is like really tuned into hearing something when their ears perk up and I feel like my ears have like always been like floppy for the past month but now they're like straight up straight up like I can hear everything intensely, like what is going on. I hadn't felt like I'd really been dealing with the sound sensitivity the past few weeks. Um, 
there's always kind of this panic of like needing to wear earplugs and stuff at work. It, church is always a problem. Like I can't get away from church, but work has been like pretty mellow. And I don't know if I, something about today. I don't know what's going on with today, but I, I'm definitely feeling the sound sensitivity today. It is also one of the busier days of the week at work. So that might have something to do with it, but I really am feeling the sound sensitivity. Also, where did my attention span go? Like it's just, it's gone today. I don't know like I just I'm like oh my ADHD is back like what happened it is back and it's in full force it is getting a little it's, it's a little crazy so far and it's only been a day it's only been 24 hours that's how I'm doing so far sound sensitivity is way back ADHD is in full force I'm also like feeling more anxiety but I'm also looking at medical bills and freaking the fuck out because <laughs> medical bills. Alright, so today is May 5th, Cinco de Mayo at 6.29 in the morning, and I'm doing pretty good. I am uh, two weeks into the washout period, and I really need to get the diary entry video up. It is done, it is exported, ready to go, I just need to create the thumbnail, but I wanted to do this check-in because, like, yeah, I'm doing really good, really really good. I think I'm gaining a little bit of weight, which I'm not happy about. Also, I need to work on my diet really bad. That that really needs an overhaul. So other than that, I'm solid. I'm not really, I haven't been really struggling with depression. I did leave work early last Thursday because I was just feeling really overwhelmed and just stressed out. And I was kind of like, when I get text from my boss first thing in the morning to cover someone else's uh, position, which, you know, is part of my job. It's it's just sometimes it, it's a rush. It's a little craziness. Like, I haven't done, like, the mental preparation to fill in that role the night before, and I realize it's just something I need, but you know what? Life happens. It's crazy. I'm afloat for a reason. I specifically wanted to make a point to film today because a lot of this diary entry, honestly, has been talking about my dad. And it just the weirdest thing happened yesterday. I checked in this patient first thing in the morning and I made a joke to him because I need some way to amuse myself talking to patients. And it just opened this conversation about him going to church um, in a town that I live in, the small town I live in, and just his personality, like even his hand gestures, his voice, the things he was saying, it reminded me so much of my dad. And he has the almost the exact same birthday as my dad. Um, he was born five years earlier, but you know, still October 8th. And you could see the love of God in his heart. And I love meeting people like that. Um, because it's such strong encouragement to me because I'm really, I, um, like even now I've noticed like kind of in my faith and like, um, when I'm talking to other Christians, I will say that I'm praying for you and I really make sure I do. Um, but when it comes to like someone I know who doesn't go to church, I just do like the sending good vibes your way. And I'm like, <sighs> no, I shouldn't say that. I know I should say praying for you, but it's just, I'm really succumbing to that faith-wise, but anyways, this guy was just, in so many ways, he reminded me of my dad, and, you know, we were, we were talking for so long, and my boss was totally okay with it because she, she knew, she knows everything about my dad and what happened, and she knew how enamored I was, and at the very end, this guy gave me a hug, and I... <laughs> Is it really weird to say that his hug felt just like a hug from my dad? Like, is that weird? Because that's really how it felt. And I feel like that conversation is going to stick, stay in my heart for like years to come. I even had to write the situation down because I just want to make sure I don't forget. So that just brought me on this incredible joy high yesterday. And since I talk so much about him in this uh, video diary, it just, I just wanted to share that with the internet void. Um, other than that, I'm really good. Um, I'm, I'm really, I'm really good. I hope to meet, I hope to go to that guy's church um, one Sunday when I'm not serving at my own. Because um, that's, yeah. 
it, I, I love surfing pictures, don't get me wrong, but, like, I want one Sunday off from running a camera or doing, like, the lyric slides, so, um, that's irrelevant, but just checking in how I'm doing, I am so happy I'm not taking one of those pills anymore, I felt so unlike myself, um, and now I just feel really good, and I know depression days come, they always come, and I always need to, you know, prepare for that, but... I just, I felt like a different person on that drug, so I'm really happy to be away from it. Um, and at the same time, I hope um, the researchers got the information they needed. So, I have my next um, study day in a couple weeks. I'll probably do an update or two before that happens, but for now, I'm signing out. Okay, today is Friday, May 7th at 6.46 in the morning and something that I really never cover in these diary entries is that once a week the researcher emails me and asks me some questions, just checking in once a week, and the questions are, um, are you experiencing any side effects? Are you feeling anything out of the ordinary? Are you experiencing anything that is not your norm? Number two is, since we spoke last week, have you wished you were dead or wished that you could go to sleep and not wake up? And number three is, since we spoke last week, have you had actually any thoughts of killing yourself? And I usually kind of, so <laughs> I usually have like some more interesting things to say in these emails, but just to cover number um, question two and three, no, not at all, no, any thoughts whatsoever of having any suicidal any suicidal thoughts wishing that I'd fall asleep and not wake up and none of that it's actually been the first time I think since the clinical study has begun that I answered no to both those questions like sometimes I'll be like oh for like a couple seconds there was like a flicker of this thought I was like no this past week there's been absolutely nothing in terms of question number one, if I'm experiencing any side effects or if I'm feeling anything out of the ordinary, I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling really happy. And that is completely outside of my norm. And it, uh, just, to, just to be able to say that I've been feeling happy for the past week kind of makes me teary-eyed, honestly, because it's so rare. I mean, usually, like, at least a couple times in a week, I'll be feeling down and depressed. Like, to have a week pretty consistent of just feeling happy is really unheard of for me. Usually, I have, like, a spell for half a day or something where I'm feeling depressed, and I really haven't had that at all. And that makes me feel really good. So that's why I want to do today's check-in. That's about it. Today is May 29th at 10.55 in the morning. It's Saturday and I've been on the study drug for officially, um, for sure, like probably 36 hours. I um, Thursday was the day I went down to do the beginning of this last phase of the study and I got my new pill pack. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't really talk, I don't know how much I've really talked about the MRI experience, but that's an hour long MRI and I was so sleepy. Like I was fully awake and like not tired at all before I went to lay down in the MRI machine and I was like nodding off like during, during the task because there was like an image task and there was like an audio task and I don't know, like they, those hour long MRIs, like they wear you down so much and trying to like not fall asleep the challenge is real and um the research assistant said that like yeah a lot of people have said they fall into sleep so I'm like glad I'm not the only one doing that so I don't know I feel like I'm just not giving them good data but in terms of the drug and taking it being on it for at least 36 hours fully I feel fine nothing worth noting uh, <laughs> but I guess if I'm gonna be fully vulnerable on my channel I feel like I need to say this. I got my period for the first time in two years on Thursday. My birth control is an IUD and I've, I got the, I've been on it for about five years. I got it. It's a three year IUD. It, anyways, it doesn't matter. So I print because of this birth control, I have not a period in two years and I had my first period on Thursday. So of course they start 
the start of the final phase of the study where I take either the whatever part, whatever drug I didn't take at the first third I started my period on. Yeah, this is bullshit. Total bullshit. So now I'm just questioning everything about how I feel. But overall, I feel fine. I feel great. Um, I thought yesterday at work was going to suck and it was actually really nice and chill. Um, so that's that's today's update. Nothing really worth no worth noting except for fuck this bullshit that is being a female. And I would live such a privileged life. Such a privileged life not having a period for two years. Um, so that was a huge bummer. That's completely un unrelated. So. so today is June 2nd at 6.23 in the morning. It's Wednesday and I've been on the study drug for like just about a week. Like I started it on Thursday so like kind of close enough. And I feel relatively fine. Like I yeah that's that's pretty much it. I feel like this whole like part two of this video is um this part two of this project is gonna be just really I don't I don't expect anything juicy to happen. I have been getting a couple headaches here and there. Um, I woke up in the middle of the night, like m like Sunday night into Monday morning, with the most awful headache. I didn't think. Am I blurry? No, I'm not. Um, I didn't think you could get headaches while you were sleeping, but apparently that's a thing because I woke up with the worst headache and also like my shoulder just like the amount of pain like from like the top of my shoulder through my bicep. It was absolutely freaking awful. I don't know if that's like related to um, to study drug or anything, but yeah, I've been getting a couple headaches. Um, headaches really aren't a deal for me. Um, like they don't happen all the time. Um, my general, my headaches are either due to a lack of caffeine, which I have not had that issue lately. I've been drinking tons of caffeine, so no caffeine withdrawal there. And then, um, uh, I don't know. That's pretty much the only couple things that I have to report today. Um, I'm just going to work. Standard, typical thing. I mean, I had a good Memorial Day, mostly. <laughs> Um, stuff that I don't really want to admit to the internet, but yeah, nothing illegal. Nothing, nothing illegal. I didn't like do anything illegal, but it was just, yeah, it was a day. It, it was, <laughs> it was a fun day. So that's all, um, just the headaches and my shoulder being, um, really randomly sore, like so bad that like, I can't move my shoulder. Like any movement, any pressure was awful. All right. Today is June 3rd at like 5.30 pretty much six o'clock in the afternoon and I figured I should do an update because today I also had the email check-in with the research assistant and I'm just kind of, kind of like going through everything and was like, okay, this is how I'm doing like a weekend. I am, I feel like I'm fine, but let's be real here. I have had some of the fleeting suicidal thoughts. Most of my suicidal thoughts on a typical basis, if I have them, they're like, a 30 second kind of deal. Kind of a, ooh, what if I did it? What if I did it like this? And then I just kind of snap out of it and I go throughout my day and I don't think about it until somebody asks me, it's like, when was the last time you had a suicidal, suicidal thought? And I'm like, you know what, I had one the other day. But they're very fleeting. So I've had a couple of those this week. I feel like very, like, anxiety, but more so like twitchy. I've mentioned a lot of times that I have like a big deal with sound sensitivity and I've been dealing with that a little bit at work the past couple days. Just It's just like a little too loud. Like I've had to bring out my earplugs just like a couple times, you know, just just so you know, like if you know, you know. No, it's just kind of to out the sound of them. But relatively, I feel like I'm fine, like period's over, that's what's up, but... Generally, a little suicidal thoughts, a little bit of tingly anxiety, not so much of like heart racing and panicking. This world's gonna end, just kind of like a little like itchiness underneath the skin, like something doesn't feel right, feels weird, like I don't know what to do, kind of deal. So that's how it's been for the first past week. Okay, so today is June fifth at seven twenty-five in the morning, and. I don't even know if I'm gonna do makeup today, honestly. I just showered and I'm just, I need to really clean my office and just kind of figure out my new setup. So that's irrelevant. Hold on. I guess I haven't shown off Luce on my channel yet. So he hasn't been showing up, made an appearance in a while. So I guess he wanted to jump in my lap. So I just wanted to do this little clip real quick because 
I woke up in the night again because of a headache and it happened to me like a few nights ago and I don't think that's ever happened to me before. Like I'm I'm not someone that gets headaches a lot. I mean I do like I'm a human but it doesn't it doesn't usually happen and you know since I I started taking um the study drug again so I, is is um I kind of looked it up but I feel like headaches um waking up in the night because of headaches is just kind of maybe a normal thing that um people do have so I don't know if it's because of placebo or anything I was kind of like doing my own like WebMD search so I just wanted to point that out second night waking up with a headache I took Tylenol and ibuprofen when I got up um so we'll see how the day plays out I don't know if it's gonna make that much of a difference and because you're moose do you want to make an appearance it's been a while it's been a while on my channel. He has no comment about my... He he, ha he has no comment about my um, waking, in the night, waking up in the night headaches. So it is June 8th at like 1 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm on lunch hiding in my car because that's my favorite thing to do. I wasn't sure if I was going to edit my lunch today but I brought my computer so I spent a little bit of time editing because it has been a lot today. The hallucinations, the voices, they are out, they are prominent, they are trying to kill me. <laughs> it's one of those days I can't really force, force them out of my mind. They've been happening pretty much all morning since I woke up. Like, um, YouTube, anything to do with it is kind of like my happy place right now. It's my place where I can just kind of like calm and like focus. So, um, in terms of like mental me, that has definitely helped me. I was very trying to push myself to get to lunch at work because I was just ready to go apply for app. I, I was ready to go into my FL, FMLA app for work and just say nope I'm going home just like bye like taking advantage of FMLA and I think I can make it through the day now just giving my time in the quiet I had to use earplugs for a good part of the morning um it's just also people are just kind of like jerks a little bit like for no reason we have to have patients fill out paperwork once a year it's just it, 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 we have to update records like I don't I, I don't see the big point of it is like here just take these five pages like, and people sometimes give us grief about it I'm just like it's so stupid it's so dumb and I am slowly losing my patience and my sympathy for adults who don't want to do a simple little task such as touching paper, signing a couple sheets, and just, we're just trying to update our health records, um, and HIPAA, so it's like not a big deal, people need to chill out, I'm losing my patience for it, I'm not gonna snap at any patient for it, but, um, the acting like I'm caring is slowly going down with this childish behavior, oh my goodness, so, um, that on top of the hallucinations, not a good day so far working on youtube allowing me to kind of get into that zone has definitely been happening or definitely helping so that is where i am at today okay so today is june 9th at like 6 57 in the morning and i am struggling really really hard with depression also i just filmed a tiktok trying on um how many lipsticks one two three for five different lipsticks and my lips hate me to hell and back so um that's irrelevant I am just so depressed and just um overwhelmed by noise um I really want to be vulnerable on my channel and so hopefully by the time this gets edited and up the circumstances change but um, a few days ago, my husband got fired from his job, which was his dream job, um, for a really good company, even though it was contracted. Um, the reason he was let go was because he said that he was tired, and apparently that was a safety issue when he's had chronic insomnia for at least 10 years at this point, um, diagnosed by physicians and um yeah it's just a really 
shitty situation right now. Um, of course, this time of year and just buying a house six months ago. Um, I've just been really feeling depressed because of it lately and I'm not even feeling like an ounce of what my husband's going through. Um, because I've never been fired from a job and neither has he, I don't think. So, um, no, he has, <laughs> but, um, this time it's just different because it's his dream job and I just hate seeing him like this and also feeling totally helpless, feeling like I can't do anything to help him. Um, so, and yes, I, I've been feeling... Um, in terms of thinking about the questions I'm going to be asked tomorrow, um, but I've been feeling depressed. All of last yesterday, it went away for about an hour, and then it came right back. Yesterday was really bad. Um, it was really loud at work, really, really loud. We were short-staffed, and that will be the opposite case today, but still really short-staffed, still very just, I am feeling so, so incredibly depressed today. Um, just so, so much, um, yeah, I have no idea how today's gonna go, um, honestly, I'm kinda happy with my makeup look today, because I knew I was gonna end that TikTok with a red lip, I did actually, um, do a neutral eye look, so that was an experience, but I don't really know what else to say at this point, I just... I'm um, hoping by the time you see this video, my husband will have a new job. Um, I know the news really is destroying him, and I hate seeing him like this. I'm feeling at least an ounce of what he's going through. Um, of course, I don't fully understand, but um, I'm just trying to be the strong, supportive wife today. Um, and I have been trying the past couple of days, and it's just, you know, he has his own chronic depression himself. Um, so I know at this point all I can do is just encourage him and just, you know, to keep showing him love, <laughs> so. Um, the medication is definitely fucking with my head. I'm going to say that for sure. Um, the first few days I was like, I'm t like, um, two months ago I was totally like, I am on the study drug right now, you know what, this is it, I know, and then the first few days into this I was like, no, um, yep, this is definitely the placebo, totally the placebo, and now I'm just like, uh, what, I, yeah, <laughs> like, what if I'm not, <laughs> so I don't know, um, tomorrow I go back down to the, um, research center, it's just gonna be a half hour appointment, pretty much turning in my pill packet and getting the new one, going through like the questions we've been doing once a week, um, pretty much our email check-ins that's been happening every week since the start of the study. And so we'll just kind of do that in person and then it's it's gonna take like four hours to get home. Well, like an hour and a half there, three months there. It's, it's gonna be a long time. So. Okay, today is Friday, June 11th at like 7.22 in the morning. And I just spent way too long filming what I thought should be an easy YouTube video. But that's not about what this, that's not what this video is about. This is just another check-in for my drug trial. I am now officially in the last two weeks of the trial. And yeah, I, ha I have been struggling. I went home from work on Wednesday because I had a panic attack. Because the room was so loud. Because the lobby was so loud. Even with earplugs, I could not, could not handle it. And honestly, going, like leaving work because of a panic attack just feels so incredibly embarrassing because I was like, oh, why are you having a panic attack? And I was like, because the room is too loud. Like it just seems really stupid, but that's just kind of like the reality of my life and I need to just acknowledge that. And I think I also just need to play defensive more because I don't think, I think I lied to myself a lot in terms of like, everything is fine, like it's not that bad. And I'm just like, kind of being like, Kayla, it is that bad, like you need help. <laughs> I was thinking at the beginning of this, um, this last third of taking the study drug again, that I was like, oh, I am pretty sure that the thing I took 
like the first month that was definitely the study drug I was a hundred percent on it the washout period I was like hell yeah like in the state of mania everything is great and I love it and then I was like kind of thinking that would still happen in this last phase because I was so sure that I was on the study drugs in the very beginning and now I'm like I don't know <laughs> maybe maybe that was the placebo or something and now I'm on the study drug now I don't know I've been hallucinating more I feel way more sensitive to sound as of late I've been dealing with a lot of anxiety um some life things are happening at home I might have mentioned already but my husband lost his job on Monday and so he's just struggling with a lot of depression from it I, I mean I um I think we're gonna be okay in the long run but um just him and like this depressed day I'm just like I, I just want to be loving and supportive as much as I can so just kind of um that circumstantial kind of fear and depression has been happening this week and I feel like I've been more depressed than usual lately I like editing and filming YouTube videos is one of my favorite things to do that's why I've been keeping up with it that's much why like I've really have been sticking with it because I love it so much but like even then I'm like losing interest and filming and editing so like for me I know that's a bad sign also I haven't played World of Warcraft all week which I mean honestly I'm not too upset about I play video games and waves and um, I think I'm just entering in that lull again and I, I'm kind of okay with that and I think also because my husband did just lose his job it makes me want to like take my channel more seriously more up to the next level so um that's kind of what's been going on the past few days i have two more weeks to go so let's see how this goes out or works out okay all right today is june 14th at like six or something in the evening and i just hit 100 subscribers on youtube i know that's not a lot in the grand scheme of things but when i started my channel again in january i had this like internal goal of hitting 100 subscribers by June and I did it <laughs> um I can't really believe it um especially just coming after last week um last week was really shitty I think I probably my husband's playing a video game upstairs but um I'm just feeling really good and really smiley now um my weekend was pretty good I did, um, I took yesterday to do, like, a self-care day, I relaxed in the sun, I got, like, a McDonald's coffee shake, because I couldn't, every time I go to McDonald's, because I, I just want a McDonald's milkshake, that's all I want, and their machine always breaks down, so I went for coffee instead, whatever, but it was good self, self-care day yesterday, I really enjoyed it, um, and yeah, I'm just feeling really good today. Um, also, I'm like no makeup and I have like the weirdest sunburn on my forehead <laughs> from when we went hiking because apparently I got sunscreen all over my face except for right there. And yeah, I am a little burnt but <laughs> for the most part. I'm just doing really good today. First two weeks of this last segment of the study trial, drug trial, I was... I was I was doing pretty shitty, like not gonna lie, I wasn't doing too good, but um, I'm doing really good today, and it feels amazing to hit 100 subscribers. Um, that's why I'm filming this update today. Not so much about how my mood's been doing, how study drugs been affecting me. I think overall I've been fine. Um, I, yeah, I don't know what else to say, but I'm doing really good today. <laughs> Surprise! I'm actually filming this uh, diary on my camera and not on my phone because I've been doing that a lot lately. But uh, for reference, today is June 21st at around 7 in the morning. I have a good little kitty boy on my lap. And I haven't been doing much of updates as of late just because there's nothing much to report on, honestly. Yeah, there's really not much for me to say or speak on this because... I've just been fine. I did have that meltdown. Uh, I think it was, was it actually last week? Maybe it was last week. I don't, I, I'm losing track of time seriously, but um, this is so cute. But for the past few days, I've been fine. My biggest struggle as of late is just mosquito bites. It's mosquito bites and it's mosquito bites. It's so many mosquito bites, they get inflamed so badly. 
I don't know if I'm just allergic to mosquito bites or if I just have an awful, awful reaction to them. So I've been kind of dealing with that the past few days. I've, I, I broke down crying yesterday because I couldn't handle it. But the bug bites are getting better. My mood, still pretty good, still pretty all right. Um, but yeah, not, not really any side effects or anything to report for this update. Okay, so today is June 22nd at like 5.20 in the morning. 5.20 in the morning, it is 5.20 in the evening. I just got home from work. I wanna do this update before I get inside and I have my kitty and I get distracted, but two more days. Two more days. Actually, three more pills. Three more pills of the study drug and I am done. <laughs> I'm done. And I am, I'm feeling the same way I felt towards the first, like the first third of where I was like a couple days away from ending this part where I'm just like ready to get this out of my system. Like I am just like, I'm done. <laughs> I have just been struggling a little bit, like just in um, hallucinations. I finally asked the worship director at my church if I could audition for the worship team, which is something that I literally have been wanting to do for years. And I finally got the courage to ask just to be part of a church in general worship team. It's just singing is something that I enjoy doing, but I'm also just like, am I a good singer? I don't don't know so a lot of curious um, insecurities about that and then also I've had the whole month off from serving it's been amazing and so yesterday or two days ago now I was sitting in the pews at church it was really weird but also really nice and I was just I, it was like the first time at my church part of being this church plant that I was able to just sit in the pews and just not serve there was a couple times I've had times off in the past, but those times, um, those times I was, I, I was stayed at home. I was only watching online and, um, hallucinations, voices came back and I've been hearing them a lot the past couple days. Um, so I have a little bit of fear, um, uh, going back to when I was 18 and the God complex that developed was really centered around religion and my faith and so there was like this little bit of nervousness of do I really like if I e even somehow like audition if I somehow become a part of the worship team like will those hallucinations come back I'm starting to feel really nervous about it but two more days three more pills one pill tonight one pill in the morning one pill tomorrow morning one pill tomorrow night and then Thursday we wrap everything up so on that end, I'm feeling really good, but I am dealing with hallucinations, the paranoia that one of them is out to kill me. Standard procedure for those, but I just want to do this second to last check-in. Today is June 24th at 6.14 in the morning, and today's the last day of the drug trial. And I am feeling very bittersweet about all of it. In the last diary entry, I said that I only have three more pills to take. Well, it was actually four because I forgot to account for the pill that I will take um, at the facility in about three hours. And I am feel it, it's a bittersweet day. It's bittersweet. It's sweet because I'm done. <laughs> that this three months process is finally coming to a conclusion that I can finally start working on finding a new antipsychotic for myself. I've mentioned that a lot in the past several months, not being able to take one, my struggles with wanting to take antipsychotics and haven't been able to because of this drug trial. I have already talked with my psychiatrist. I have one waiting for me at the pharmacy. So I'm. it's sweet because I can kind of start working more on finding new antipsychotic for myself. This That process has been like five years in the making, so. I'm really excited for that, but it's bittersweet, but it's bitter because of the person I've been working with pretty much since January, even though the drug trial itself didn't start till March, like my interview for the drug trial was in January and we were keeping in real, um, pretty consistent contact throughout that point until actual trial started. So 
I just feel like really that we have gone along with each other. I feel like if it was outside of this professional setting, like seriously, I feel like we could really be friends. And I even mentioned to her that to her a few weeks ago and she was like, yeah, totally. Like part of like just the drug trial, she just kind of feels the same way of like, okay, let's just get the details out of the way and then talk just socially and casually. And so it's better in that aspect because I have grown to think of her as a friend and I I don't know. I'm really bad at kind of like reaching out and be like, hey, we should hang out sometimes if it's not someone I see every day or like once a week at least. So it's better that that kind of door on this potential friendship is ending. It, it, it very well, I mean, we could, you know, I don't know. We might still continue talking. Who do I know? It sounds like it's a breakup. <laughs> <laughs> thinking about it like that kind of feels like a breakup but I just enjoy being around her so much not only because of this um, research study that she has chosen to do and continue with and just all of her hard work in it but also just to kind of enjoy her as a friend. It's pretty much how I'm feeling. I have kind of been debating over the past several months about whether or not I want to film kind of like a wrap up video. I'd like, do I just want to have like these two diary entry videos and then just like kind of cut it? But I think at this point with this being the last day, I will start compiling my thoughts just kind of as a sh much shorter recap and you know, kind of be like things I learned about myself, you know, yada 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 about this whole experience. So I think that will be coming at some point soon once the drug trial video has gone up or this diary entry, um, this diary video has gone up. So yeah, this is the end. I have spent one month on the study drug and or, place or placebo. I did one month of the washout period. And then this month has been, whether it's the study drug or the placebo, whichever one I didn't take the first time. In terms of like side effects or anything, I'm not quite sure, I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I have been dealing a lot with more hallucinations this week. I mentioned that in the past couple updates. A lot of sound sensitivity. I was very, very, very overwhelmed at work yesterday. But I was able to tough it out and make it through. Oh my gosh, yesterday afternoon was utter chaos. Oh my goodness. But besides all that, I know I kind of did the sign off at the very first part of this video. But if you have made it this far, oh my goodness. But thank you so much for watching and as always, I, as always guys, I take it very seriously when I say to have joy because it is so hard to find joy. It is so hard, but I hope that you continue on your search to find joy.